Ladies and gentlemen, here we have it. My top 10 songs of the year. What a year for music, ladies and gentlemen. This year was insane for all genres of music. Obviously, we listen to rap mainly on this channel, but an insane year, probably the best one that we've had since 2016. We had to make a lot of hard choices. If you didn't see the video prior for the honorable mentions for basically number 40 through number 11, go check it out. There are gonna be songs here that people are like, what? How is that not in the top 10? What do you mean out of time's not in the top 10? What do you mean Johnny P's Caddy's not in the top 10? What do you mean Walking by Denzel Curry isn't in the top 10? There were a lot of tracks that we had to consider, ladies and gentlemen. And based on the criteria that I decided I wanted to use, we have our final top 10. And what a top 10 it is, in my opinion. Let's get started. At the number 10 spot, ladies and gentlemen, we have J.I.D. Cody Blue 31. JID's album is going to be in my album of the year contender list. There are solid tracks on the album, but nothing stood out to me like Cody Blue 31 in the same way that the Never Story, nothing stood out to me on that, which has a lot of bops as Hereditary. I am a fan of J. Cole singing. He fully embraced it on this track. The storytelling of this track, everything about this song, the overall sense of we are persevering no matter what, along with the beats, along, everything about the song, in my opinion, makes it the best on the album. We have J.I.D. number 10. At the number nine spot, and this one right here is gonna get a little people stirred up. I promise you, we have Drake Liability. This song right here is probably one of Drake's most under the radar song that should easily be in his top of his discography. This song is insane. The slow pace, the pitch down of the vocal, the melody that was selected, the amount of auto-tune that's being used, the emotion, the amount that he enables this woman, and the fact that he recognizes it and has always recognized it all the way back to Marvin's room. I got some women that's living off me. I pay for their flights and hotels. I'm ashamed on Marvin's room, all the way to fly in places because you know to travel on me. All I ask is for honesty. How hard can that be? God, this song. I don't give a fuck about what anybody says about honestly, never mind. Is Are there better house albums? sure but it's a vibe and i don't care if people say that jimmy cooks is the best song on the album they're fucking lying to you you're lying to yourself this is the best song on the album along with massive at the number a spot ladies and gentlemen we got father time k dot this is probably my favorite song on the album dumb powerful sanfa's hook took it above and beyond that's the reason why it's as high as it is but also, this is gonna break so much stigma that revolves around not just the African-American community in general, but anybody who's seen at the poverty or below the poverty line, this song is gonna break so much stigma because it's, it's, it's pointing a mirror at those communities and saying, you don't have to be on that braggadocious, nothing hurts me, I'm impenetrable, fuck the world, I can do this on my own. We got daddy issues. There are deep scars that are there because of the daddy issues that we have and it's a systematic problem. This is making people see that. This is this is almost an unprecedented type of song in rap because it is so vulnerable and it's asking other listeners to be vulnerable with, with Kendrick. It's also one of the tracks that has the most replay value off of the album. That is also why it is in the top 10. Next up, coming in at number seven, lucky number seven, we have Jesse Reyes, Still See You. Jesse Reyes is a person you either love her voice or you don't. I do love her voice and I love her lyricism. And this song, when I first heard it on stream, it's one of the most powerful songs that I had heard at that time. How come I still see you in my dreams when I wanna get you out of my dreams? If you've ever been there, if you've ever been during a breakup or early stages of a breakup or somebody pops into your dreams months later, years later, you're like, why do I still see you in my dreams? It's like she's trying to get past but can't. It's a very relatable situation to be in. And her singing on this song and the emotion that comes from a vocal performance, flawless. Amazing track. At the number six spot before we last track, before we get into our top five, I said you would see Lupe Fiasco again, and here he is 
with Miss Mural. Miss Mural rounds out the Mural series that started with Tetso and Youth with Mural, and then we had Mural Jr. And then this track right here is Miss Mural rounding out the trilogy of the family. This is probably my favorite Mural track out of all of them. The visuals, the story that he's telling, the visceralness, you can see what he is saying, the concept of somebody walking up to a painter next to the sea, asking them questions. The painter is painting the picture in the person's mind all while Lupe is painting the scene in our mind of that person talking to the painter. It's just, it's an amazing visual. It's it's Lupe in S tier rapping form. It is one of the reasons why Lupe in my book is the greatest lyricist of all time. And in a lot of people's books is the greatest lyricist of all time. It is, it is a fantastic, a fantastic track. This could have easily been number one and I would have no problem with it. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen, coming into our top five, starting with number five, future featuring Drake, featuring Tim's wait for you. You had to know that this was going to be in the top five. This track is a fucking juggernaut of a track. Drake did it uh, traveling around the world. I sit on my balcony and wonder how you feeling. I got a career that takes my time away from like Drake just slid on this hoe. Future's voice and his singing style and what he talks about in contrast to what Drake's singing style, higher pitched voice, a little bit sweeter of a singing, but still very bittersweet in the lyrics. If this song is as good as a future Drake collab as you're ever going to get. Like if you don't like future because he's trap rap, mumble rap, whatever the fuck you want to call him. You don't like Drake because oh, he doesn't write his own lyric, ghost rap, yada, yada. Whatever the fuck, I'm not even going to try to convince you. If you're someone who's open-minded about both of these artists and you realize the prestige they have and the influence that they have on hip-hop and rap, you will understand why this track is number five, deservedly so. At the number four spot, like I said, once again, it was not going to be the last time you saw this man on this list. We have Westside Boogie with one of his lead singles, Stuck. Stuck was my most listened to song in 2022, and I personally believe it is one of West Side Boogie's best songs ever in all of his discography. This bitch just straight bangs, and the hook is crazy, and what the song is about is even crazier, especially if you're someone who has come from a life of poverty or a neighborhood of poverty, even if you weren't in poverty, you know that feeling of being stuck and always being stuck to that hood that you came from. And it's such a crazy thing to call it being stuck because a lot of people are like, I'll never leave the hood. I love my hood and I respect that. But I feel like a lot of people don't realize that in while they're saying that, it's really that they feel stuck there. No matter how much they want to get away from that hood, it's always going to be a part of them. It, you can take the person out the hood, but you can't take the hood out the person. That is being stuck. Survivor's guilt is being stuck. And that is an extremely, an extremely powerful sentiment. And this is a flawless song, in my opinion. Still put chips up in a sandwich because there's shit I can't escape. Fire track, bro. And here we have the three spots that have made the podium in this year's Olympics. And at number three, we have Glimpse of Us, Joji. For a long time, Glimpse of Us was going to be my number one song. And you weren't going to you weren't going to convince me otherwise. The lyrics like I have never heard a song that has these kind of lyrics that cut so deep. Like, bro, what do you mean? You're trying to find a past relationship in someone else's eyes. You're not even giving that girl a chance, not giving that relationship a chance because all you're hoping for is to see a glimpse of us, our failed relationship in any new girl that comes along tell me he savors your glory does he laugh the way i did is this new chapter is this new part of your story is it just one that i have never lived to experience bro maybe one day you'll start feeling lonely and in his eyes you'll catch a glimpse of us in the same way that i see i'm trying to see us constantly in this other girl's eyes this shit is heartbreaking bro tell me he savors your glory does he laugh the way I did? Is this a part of your story? One that I had never lived. <laughs> this, is, this song is perfection. This is a 10. This is a 10. And for a lot of people, this is going to be their number one track. And I'm also going to think for a lot of people, this is their number one track because they haven't heard the top two tracks, which is respectable. And even if you have, if you have this song at your number one, I can't blame you for it, bro. This song deserves to be number one. Everything here was a photo finish at the top three. Coming in at the runner up photo finish silver medal spot. Number two, we have Dark Hearted by Freddie Gibbs. From the moment that I heard this track, I was like, 
song of the year rap song of the year easily and also potential song of the year on this list which is multiple genres it is that good of a track bro james blake is an amazing hip-hop and rap producer there's no other way to say it he is a talent like the world will never see he is up there as a producer with metro Boomin, with phineas with anybody who's anybody in producing music james blake has his own signature sound and it is extremely extremely dark it's haunting it's harrowing it just feels so it feels like you are in a nightmare freddie gibbs and his persona on the mic with james blake backing it on the production side flawless bro, bro the man has one of the coldest lines of the year empty stomach will go give you the heart to do a homicide this might be one of freddie gibbs best songs ever not on this album ever and then lastly ladies and gentlemen the number one spot and this one is gonna especially for this channel this is not the genre of music we listen to the most or ever really but the moment that somebody requested this band and then the moment that i did the album review of this group i knew that this song on first listen was going to be song of the year and i had only heard it as of maybe a week and a half ago we have the place where he inserted the blade by black country new road bro i still to this day cannot put into words how emotional this song is the the vocal performance on this song is enough to make plenty of people cry the lyrics alone are enough to break your heart and make plenty of people cry the the progression of the music is insane the progression of the arrangement of the music and the way the song ebbs and ebbs and flows is amazing this is full live instrumentation and, and it's so raw down when i hear this song i can literally hear the thickness of the reed that is being played on the saxophone that is how raw this song is in its recording style a lot of people are gonna have this album in their top 10 a lot of people are gonna have this album in their top five and this is the best song in my opinion on the entire album and i feel like if you're someone who likes to either you like this genre of music and you know who they are or you're someone who likes to experiment you like to see where other genres of music that you don't normally listen to where they're at that's how i am obviously i'm predominantly hip-hop but i will vent venture out and see where what everybody else is doing see what other genres are doing and this song is flawless this is 10 out of 10 this is 11 out of 10 bro it leaves me speechless every time i've probably heard it 20 times in the time that it, it's a, it's almost an eight minute song it's like seven and change and it doesn't even feel like seven and change because of everything that's happening in the song and the emotions that you are going through you've ever seen a three-hour movie and you don't even realize you sat there for three hours because you were that invested in the movie that is this song and that is why it is at the number one spot but other than that ladies and gentlemen i appreciate y'all's time i appreciate all the devotion and dedication and the growth of the community over the last year if y'all guys want to support the channel and y'all want to see the community keep going and growing and us get tighter we are going to be fully fledged all steam ahead on patreon in 2023 it's five bucks a month you can get in for three just to support but five gets you like 80 percent of the content that's on patreon so consider doing that all new music fridays go on patreon all new music in general full album reviews the one her loss metro boomin's album all these albums that are cut up on the channel they are in raw in full form on on patreon other than that consider joining me over on twitch as always twitch helped me curate this list so you would have already seen and known what order these were in if you were there on the live stream and we do a lot of music we do a lot of tournaments new music fridays request days play video games debate over on the stream live it's a very tight community no one has gone over there and said that they don't like it and no one has ever said that they like youtube more than twitch once they got acclimated to twitch i promise you it is a very it's an enjoyable experience but other than that i appreciate y'all support appreciate y'all's time thank you for always being here and i will catch y'all guys on the next video She take the world off my shoulders If it was ever hard to move She turned the rain to a rain When I was living in the blue